David, another win today and three points collected. How do you look back on your team's winning performance? That was a tough game, a really tough game. Um, I think the you know the standard is proven to be what we expected to be. The games were becoming quite challenging. Um, East still in the first half, probably we probably the better game in the first half. And I think probably deserved to win nothing up. But I think the second half um, we had to be resilient. We had to defend our box an awful lot. We turned the ball over probably more than we would normally do. More than obviously what we'd like to. And part of that obviously got to be credit to the way Stirling tried to press us. Their energy in the, the second half um, went up a, a couple of levels, which um, is a huge credit to him for that. Um, and nothing's going to be straightforward. And it's good that, that is the, that's the way it's going to be. Um, so yeah, in terms of the result, obviously that, that, that is what it is. But from our point of view, it was pleasing that the game, um, our boys had to really dig deep to find a way to defend their box properly and ensure that when we had to, um, we had to be really dominant in, in, in that area um, to make sure we kept it kept a clean sheet again. Like you said, it was another physical challenge, but there was a lot of chances in the first half, but a lot of great defending also. Yeah, um, I don't think it was just a physical challenge. I think it was a football challenge in terms of tactical and technical under as well. So from that point of view, it, you know, there was many aspects to the game today that was, that was difficult. I thought the first half we dealt with it much better. We created, I think, kind of four or five good opportunities um, to have obviously got further ahead. That didn't happen. So whilst the score remains at one nothing, um, there's always the, the, the you know, the, obviously we suddenly would naturally still flow in the game. I think if we got the second, it might have changed slightly. Um, and even the second half, we maybe weren't at a fluent sort of best with the ball. Um, I still felt that we'd done one or two opportunities that could have you know, made it a bit more comfortable. But listen, that is what it is, and, and that's why it's important when you've got Kyle McClelland, Leon King defending the box along with the full-backs, and obviously Jay having to come up with one or two really good saves at key moments as well. So yeah, I think every part of our team, um, individually, and as a group, were challenged today, and it was, um, it was pleasing that we come through the other end. We've touched on it before, but obviously it's a young squad that we have, but we had four under-18 players today. How encouraging is that to see these positive results coming out at the end of each match? Again, we'll, the result, again, we'll obviously look at, but more importantly for us is the performance for the guys. Um, if we get the performance right, we have more chance of getting the result. Um, obviously, we'd like to get a, a combination of when we have the ball, it's fluent, it's joined up, and we look as if we're in control of the game, which I felt in the first half probably was closer to it, um, but the second half was less so. Um, and I think part of that was down to the way he's uh, still impressed us, but I also think they changed shape in the second half, which is one of the challenges for the boys as well to work out You know, when, when they were a kind of narrowed midfield four in the first half, their spaces tended to be on the outside or off the side of one of their, their deepest midfielder. But in the second half, because they changed slightly, slightly they had wide players, um, we actually should play through the middle of the pitch more often rather than going down the side. So these are things we want to try and problem solve a little bit quicker um, and not just from the side of the pitch, we want the players to try and work that out as well as the game's developing. Because then they'll find it much easier to find the right spaces and the right areas to go and, uh, go and play through, which I think the second half would have been more central. It's another quick turnaround with another game on Tuesday night against Civil Service Strollers. Is that your full focus now? Um, well, no, probably the, the, the next couple of days are the full focus to try and obviously be back in again tomorrow for the re, um, recovery sessions, which you know, we've got a, a team there that will look after them and make sure the guys are prepared. We probably need to look after them the next two days because that is quite a cons you know, considerable amount of time we've been like, playing and uh, training in the last two weeks. So we'll need to look after the next two days. When we get closer to Monday, we'll start looking a bit more about the, the game of Tuesday against Civil Service Strolls. So, but yeah, another game we're looking forward to, uh, another enjoyable one, hopefully, as it was today. Even though it was challenging today, uh, as I said, we had to defend more. It was, for us as a staff, looking at that, there's a lot of learning to take place and we'll make sure that uh, that happens.